Let's take it from there. I have joining me in the studio live to discuss challenges of metering, bridging this gap, meeting standards, and improving all services in the power sector. Chief Executive Officer, Managing Director of the Nigerian Electricity Management Services Agency, Mr. Peter Iweso. Thank you, the Chief Inspector of the country. I think I'm correct. Yeah, yeah correct. <laughs> it's great to have you join us on the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's start with issues around metering, billings, estimated billings, tariff review that has been on. Now, what's the statutory role and responsibility of your agency in all of this? Thank you, Tolu. I think I will start by actually letting the public know that NEMSA is set up as an enforcement agency to deal with the functions of enforcement of technical standards and regulation, technical inspection, testing, and certification of all categories of electrical installations, including metering, which actually is the one that rake in the revenue with which the sector can to properly uh, run, manage, because it is the metering that actually through which we collect all the revenue required to run that particular sector. We, NEMSA 2 is equally responsible for ensuring that all type of electricity meters and instruments that are to be used in the sector are actually of the right quality. We have the facility to test them, to do a type test to make sure coming to Nigeria for the first time or being manufactured for the first time in Nigeria, such meters, we need to check them out to make sure that they meet all the parameters set out in the Nigerian metering code and at the same time to ensure that they meet our environmental condition because many have actually brought meters into this country that whose temperature, for example, are just around 30, 36. But when you use them in a country like ours, where you have temperature rising up to 40 degrees, 45 degrees, then the meter are affected, they go bad easily, and at the same time, it affects the functionality of the meter, so that the meter may not be able to dispense meet, uh, 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 power in the right quantity and measure to which the device is supposed to function. After that, too, we are equally responsible to ensure that even when the meter has been tested to meet the quality, when the large numbers are to be, de I mean, to be deployed, we quality do a routine test on them to ensure that the quality we approve in the type test is the same quality that the people are supplying. We are equally responsible to ensure that safety of life and property in the industry, in our homes, in factories, in hazardous locations, petrol stations, oil and gas stations are actually uh, in the right perspective. They are safe, they are right, and so this is the cross of activity we do to ensure safety of life and property, safety requirement is maintained in the industry and within the homes where we live. I see that you have really a lot in your hands. Now, what are the standard specifications of bringing meters into the country? Coincidentally, I just came from a meeting with a metering company, though I'm not going to mention name, names, and they're talking about the map process, how they're going to help bridge about I suppose to produce about 3 million meters. 5.2 5 million. Uh, yes, for them, no, for that company. And they have a capacity of about 1.2. So I've already seen a shortfall already. Tell us, what's the real specification? Well, I think I will start by saying that uh, what the federal government has done through the regulator to actually uh, make the meter asset provider regulation is actually the, the, the in fact, in the right direction. You know, for a long time, the discos have not been able to actually meet the targets set for yes. them to provide meters. Yes. And so what government have done with the regulation is to ensure that this is taken out from them and given to a third party so that it, they can fast track the implementation of bringing meters into the country. And in doing this, the, 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 the map has a lot of potentials, but those potentials actually still depends on the availability of uh, funding. And the aspect that concerns them sir, is that we will not allow any meter that have not been tested in Nigerian Electric Management Service Agency's meter test stations, which we have one in Oshodi, in Lagos, one in Portacot, one in Kaduna. Because the point is this one is that if you bring any meter into the country and that meter has not been tested, you can't guarantee the quality, you cannot guarantee the efficacy of the accuracy of what the meter is going to actually deliver, because the metering device is actually a device which actually protect both the utility company and the consumer. Many a times people have the notion that, oh, it's just to protect the customer because there are, there are, there are, there are dispensations uh, of energy which are not actually recorded if the meter is actually not of the right uh, quality and standard. And so with the map, where the stage of NEMSA is first and foremost to ensure that the meters have the right type, right quality, and to ensure that meters that are being deployed 
in large quantity to homes actually have been properly checked out to have met that same quality that have been supplied. And we provide a lot of security devices on the meter so that when you get to the home, you are actually fully assured that this particular meter meet the right uh, standard. And like I said before in some fora, a metering device really is supposed to be something that, that allows proper flow of information for proper energy management, proper accountability and transparency. Hmm. Interesting one there. Now, 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 talking about issues around overbilling, that's what we hear everywhere we go. Uh, you, you know, how, how has it been? How, why are we always having these complaints? Overbillings, overbillings, estimated billings. I don't know why that happened. Well, I will start by saying, first and foremost, estimated billing came because of lack of adequate metering services to consumers. Because uh, if you look at it in the market, like in the Yoruba balance, you say Mudu, the man selling rice, has its own measurement put there for you. And so all the discos are expected to, in the first instance, before they take supply to my house or your house or anybody's house, should have that Mudu, which is in this case, is the meter. But because the meters are not there, then you now do what we call estimated billing, which is not favorable neither to the disco or to the customer. Most times they will say, ah, uh, the disco is cheating us with uh, estimated billing. Yes, it's true. But at the same time, too, you can equally cheat the, disco, the disco. I agree with you. On estimated uh, I agree. Uh, 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 billing. billing. So the only way to eradicate estimated billing is one, provide meter for everybody. Then the best way to now eradicate overbilling is to ensure that all meters that are deployed are properly tested and certified by the authority, which is NEMSA's National Meter Test Stations. To, I mean, with that, then you can, overbilling can then be resolved. The overbilling, like I said, is not one way. It's a two-way traffic. It's either for the utility company or for the consumer. So I think these are the things that we definitely need to look at to say that remove estimated billing, provide meters. Overbilling, make sure your meters are properly tested. And when they bring a meter to you, for, for, for example, you must look for a unique device, which we call the seal on the meter. That seal is the only thing that shows you that this meter is the correct meter, is the right meter. Any meter you do not have the seal, or do not have NEMSA test label, that meter, if the first is it's a fake meter, and you can challenge it. Like we said uh, uh, before, people are decommissioning meters. What do the commission meter, the, the law, the regulation, the metering code allows that you can decommission a meter when that meter has been found no longer to work correctly and effectively. But it has a procedure. You cannot just come to my house or go to her and say, by the disco, I want to come and change meter because it's no longer functioning. They, you then must ask them, where is that authority? The authority is the report that this meter has been tested and been checked and so this meter no longer performed the function it was meant to perform in the first instance. Yes. But not somebody using a different type of meter to change another type of meter in, 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 I mean, your house. All these things are the things Nigerians need to know, both the disco themselves need to actually appreciate and understand so that apathy will not be there. Because what causes fighting most times between disco staff and uh, consumers is lack of information. The mind is not aware. You just come to somebody and say you want to change this meter. Why do you want to change the mm. meter? You need to educate the person. Look, this meter is no longer working. It's not, it's not working for me, neither is it working for you. The customer will understand why you need to change it. But it suddenly comes, say you want to change. Or somebody who is going to be giving estimated billing is already boiling in his mind. I'm not getting light. And so you are giving estimated billing. And then you are coming to say you want to come and disconnect. So all these things, if there are proper communication, proper distortion yeah, yeah. between both parties and you have let's, let's move on now you know time is always running Charlie when you're when you're live on television like this yeah. now do you have the capacity to test all the meters coming into the country well I will tell you that uh, we are even looking for more meters to test the reason being that you know like I said funding is one of the biggest challenge in actually deploring meters and when this map came on board people say yes them sir can you deal with this for us, what the first thing we did was to ask the disco, please give us the total number of meters we're going to deploy. And they gave us, and it's spread for over a period of three years. And the total is about 6.8. In 2019, we are expected to have 1.08 meters to be deployed in 2019. But as we speak, 
the total number of meters that actually we have that have come, which we have tested, are just 205,947 meters. So, and you find out that these meters is not that when you say you are uh, going to deploy about the 1,000, uh, 1 1.8 million meters. It doesn't mean all these are the ones you. You spread all of them. You test a percentage and then you sample test, I mean test them, you routine test them, so that once you you give a reflection of the total number of the meters we are testing, the accuracy, is it right, the quality, is it correct? All these things are tested out. So in terms of capacity, yes, we have. And if there is need for maybe for us to actually step up capacity in terms of actually uh, dealing with more meters, or we just present now we are running just one ship. If we have more, if we have more challenges with the volume of meter, then we could then actually try oh. to do uh, shift. I'm going to ask you this: uh, cost-reflective tariff is what the discos are calling for. Is this really the risk review? Is it necessary? Nigerians want power. <laughs> a lot of hikes, a lot of hikes at this time. VAT is on the high side. Everything is getting on the high side now. It's electricity tariff. Well, to me, if you ask about electricity tariff, I think basically as a Nigerian and somebody who is actually occupying this position, I think if we want to get to our destination, mm. definitely mm. we need the cost-reflective tariff. Mm. But the, having cost-reflective tariff, there are a lot of uh, parameters, a lot of indices, a lot of requirements to be met, which we call condition precedent. Like, for example, I know very many Nigerians today will be ready to pay for that electricity once it's available. If you look at the way things are being, when your services are enhanced, your services are good, people will pay for them. So, but for me, I say definitely cost effective tariff is not something that you can negotiate. Let's end with this. Advice to customers who want to purchase meters. Well, basically, if they are giving you meter or you are purchasing meter, uh, all customers should actually be on the watch out so that they don't call you fake meter, the one they call baroof meters, <laughs> uh, because if you do not see NEMSA's label on that meter, see NEMSA inscription on it, or you don't see the NEMSA test label, that meter is fake, and that meter, you cannot actually guarantee that this meter actually is going to dispense power in the right measure, in the right quantity, and in the right capacity of that particular meter. And to me too, Nigerians, please know that even when you are given the correct meter, you can be paying what you call estimated billing due to your own fault, in the sense that if your house is, you do not have it in your house, what this means is that when there is any fault, any leakage, instead of that leakage being diverted to ground and go to the station to actually uh, stimulate and make sure that the system is stripped off, your meter will read it as a load because it's in it mm. that you are utilizing load, even when your appliances are switched off. And, and another point you need to know, the manner in which these meters are installed is of paramount importance. Many customers or consumers will install their meter on their load end. And when you use your alternative supply, when you are using it, you are still passing the load, the, the, I mean, the generation, through that same meter to your house. What happens is that you will definitely be paying for the power you are generating yourself. You are buying diesel, you are buying petrol <laughs> to generate, you are still paying for it. Another point too is that there are a lot of devices we use for electrical connections. If the devices are not the right type, you will equally be paying. There's what we call a changeover switch for you to change over between the disco supply and generator. And generator. If you have a three pole, that is the, the neutral is now common, whether you're on generator, whether you're on your in, uh, the disco supply, you are equally paying because at any point in time, Power will flow through what we call a closed circuit. And since the neutral is there, it's not broken, anytime you are running your generator, that meter will, will equally still pick it. So uh, I, I, just, I, just, I just remember that. Does it mean that some people try to evade uh, clearance or certification when it comes to people not getting this? Um, it doesn't meet a standard and it gets to uh, various houses. How does that happen? Do people try to evade certification or what does that? What well, does there are, yes, uh, you, you are correct. There are, you know, Nigerians, we have one challenge which I think this administration has been trying to correct. Let us be transparent mm. and let us do things right. I think the, 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 the point is that people don't like uh, doing the right thing. So the temptation for people to actually go and fix meters without uh, going through tests is there. But once this is discovered, we checkmate them and then make sure they are done. Like 
for example, there was a time we were told there were some meters that were actually installed in a in part of uh, Ibadan Disco in Oshogbo. And they said, oh, we didn't see NEMSA say, please, NEMSA, come and check and see whether these meters are the right, are, are the correct one. When we actually went there, there were no uh, meters uh, seen. I will find the meter were not actually the right type of meters. You find the capacity the, of, of the meter is supposed to be 60 amps, but what we now find there is 30 amps. It's supposed to be 5 to 60, but what we find there was 5 to 30. So in the first instance, that meter is not right. And so what happened is that they need to make sure that they change all those meters. And this has happened in pocket of places in all other discos that we have found. And once we find them, all we do is to make sure that these meters must be replaced with the right types. And so what I tell Nigeria is that once you don't notice that report, and then we'll take it up and make sure you are given the right type of meter, that you are, you, I mean, you desire. You are Mr. Paid. Peter Iweso, it's really nice having you, Chief Executive Officer, Nigeria Electricity Management Services Agency. There might be a part two of this discussion. I see that passion, letting Nigeria really understand what should be their rights when it comes to metering and electricity supply. Thank you for joining us on Business Nigeria today.